and it created a firestorm because the title companies was reacting. Title disputes bring trouble to Iowa homes. Court should punish land title scam artists. State must do more to stabilize titles. Perfect title focus of criminal probe by the Attorney General's office. Knee-jerk reaction. All I'm saying is, refute the title report. It's not like I'm making this stuff up. Yeah. So it got to a point where, um, well, one of the articles stated, perfect title has created chaos in Hawaii's real estate industry with its claims that current land titles are no good. The company reaches those conclusions using 19th century Hawaiian Kingdom law, which it says is still in effect, and by searching property records dating to the 1840s. Made perfect sense, right? Imagine 1996 reading that. These guys are nuts. <laughs> Who's these guys? I'm a Buddhist. Kenosai. What? Criminals. Criminals. <laughs> okay, so what ends up happening though, all we're doing is being focused. This is the title report. You know, and we stand on it. We do the title report, we gotta defend it. You pay fifteen hundred dollars for a seventy five thousand dollar value. We stand by it. That's all. It's not about who's homeland and who's not. It's not about who's over here, who's over there. You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. Here's the test results. You're not pregnant. No more title. That affected a lot of people other than just title companies. Realtors. Okay? Real estate agents. Brokers. Disclosure. It's all over the news. You gotta disclose. DROA form. You gotta say, well, there's an issue of title to the prospective buyer. Because if you don't disclose, and the buyer finds out you knew, you get sued. Failure to disclose. So the realtors were getting all pretty much a bit perturbed because they're not getting straight answers from the title companies. And the title companies were, mm, don't say nothing, circle the wagon. And asking, is there a problem? Can you fix this? So nobody, nobody would say nothing. John Jabinski, the counsel for a title guarantee, started a propaganda campaign in the newspapers. I remember he had Barbara Marshall come to our office. Remember Barbara Marshall, Action Line, Channel 2 News? She comes into my office after visiting John Jabinski on the corner of uh, Queen and Richards. We were on the corner of Merchant and Richards. She comes all jazz, ready to go, you know, interview with me, scam artist. She tells me on, the, on, on, on camera, are you telling these people don't pay their mortgages? Of course not. You don't pay a mortgage. You pay a promissory note. A mortgage is collateral. <laughs> so I brought up the dictionary. I said, here, look, this is what a mortgage is. She looked at me. She was stuck. And you see the cameraman laughing because I'm watching the cameraman. <laughs> and you know what? She don't put that on the news. She comes on and says, I'm a crook. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Joe Moore? He started calling me a charlatan. I'm going, wow, charlatan. That was a charlatan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that means a crook. <laughs> Freaking guy. <laughs> I bet you a lot of Hawaiians have no charlatan either. He's, like, He's a charlatan. He's like some fairy tale guy. <laughs> so it, what it did was it got the Hawaii Developers Council, which is in Honolulu, an organization of realtors. Andy Albano is part of that. See, Donald Lewis knew a lot of these guys because he's a realtor. And this uh, uh, organization, Hawaii Developers Council, put on a panel at the Hawaii Prince Hotel in 1997, July, and I got the video. 500 people showed up in the room, 500. Realtors, bankers, attorneys, all of them. So we're sitting on this panel with David Peach, president of Title Guarantee Escrow, Bruce Graham from Ashford and Riston, lead attorney for them, and also teaches land titles at the law school. Neil Holbert from Alston and Hunt, representing Chicago Title Insurance Company, Donald Lewis and myself, and an attorney from Bank of Hawaii to moderate. So, we're up there, and uh, we do our thing. Back then we didn't have PowerPoint, you got slideshow, you know, fade in, fade out, got the two, two projectors. You could hear a pin drop. Everybody went, oh my God, this is for real. They thought we were sovereignty activists. <laughs> no, I'm serious, that's what they thought. This was a scam. In fact, the title of the program was called Perfect Title, Scam or Restoration. Hawaii Developers Council put that title, not us. And they all walked out dumbfounded. It was pretty amazing. But I'm only talking the truth. It's just the remote control.
It's not a habit. And you don't own it. This is how you fix it. This is how you perfect your title. So everybody leaves. Then I get approached by Bruce Graham. Comes up to me, the lead attorney from Ashford University. He says, you know, Kelly, you're taking these people down the wrong road. 1997, July, people are going to get hurt. I said, you know, Bruce, I'm not here to argue with you about land titles. It's like arguing about who's pregnant and who's not pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. I'm not here to argue about land titles. The title report says it all. It's an abstract. That's all it is from the public records. That's all. I sent a copy to you before this presentation, two weeks ago, and I see you have it. It was in his folder. I said, all you got to do is go line by line and refute the title report. That's simple. You refute it, game over. Now you get us on conspiracy and fraud. Now we're ripping people off. And he says, I looked at it, and I can't refute it. He said, it is historically and factually correct. So I said, so what's the problem? America's here, and that's just the way it is. So I said, oh, I didn't know America's involved with title insurance. See, that's a real issue. It's not America. It's title insurance. So we left. One week later, we get raided by the Honolulu Police Department White Collar Crime Unit. There's us. <laughs> I'm going, oh, where's everything? <laughs> so we get raided. Myself, Donald Lewis, and our secretary get arrested. As part of a state criminal investigation, Honolulu Police yesterday morning arrested Donald Lewis, David Kionosa, and a company secretary for investigation of theft racketeering and tax evasion. <laughs> huh? See, that's what I'm saying right here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> racketeering. That's strong army. That's Al Capone stuff. You know what racketeering is, huh? Yeah, collecting taxes. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll protect you. Yeah, it's protection money. How oh, you got that from title? You can't refute them, you can't break them, smear them. That's what happened. Smear them. Right there, so when I realized, now we're playing the real game. Yeah. Now you're attacking. I was married at that time, still am, but at the time I was married. My son was eight years old, my youngest one was four years old. That's when I took my ring off. That's when nobody's gonna know who my family is. This is a different mode now. Now I'm back military. Okay. It's like going to the bubble or a live fire going over your head. Main thing you keep your head down. Yeah, but keep moving. It became very important for me to protect my family. Everybody started to think I was some activist. Actually, beyond activist, I'm a criminal. So they took down everything. They shut down the company. They shut it down. And I'm thinking, how are you going to get us for racketeering and theft and tax evasion for doing title reports? Which is a lot cheaper than the title guarantees doing. They're doing the same thing. How come they're not getting arrested for racketeering, <laughs> money laundering, tax evasion? <laughs> well, they dropped the charges, but it went viral. Not viral, because the internet wasn't really big at that time. But you should have seen coming out of Baritania. Actually, when I got arrested, I'm walking down in handcuffs. And Detective Joe Cowley from the police department. I actually gave a presentation to the SSD, the Special Services Detachment, the SWAT team. You know, come in schools, you get family, friends, classmates, you know, come in middle, cops, firemen. <laughs> so my friend Peter calls me, Kim, are reading all the newspaper? What's going on? You can come and give us some talk. Sure. So I went into the basement, Paratania, we'll give a talk to everybody. Had one lady there, Detective Joe Cowley from the White Collar Crime Union. And they all went, this is a title issue. It's not criminal. Said, yeah, it's not criminal. Ah. Well, Detective Joe Cowie refused to be a part of the raid. She stayed downstairs in the van. So as I'm walking out in handcuffs, she comes up to me and she hugs me. She says, I'm so sorry. We were not even investigating you guys. This came from the top. Yeah, Lieutenant Hanagami took it straight from the governor's office. Mobilized the white collar crime unit. Raid. That's where it came from. So I go in. You got to get fin fingerprinted. Yeah, so another coming back graduate. Yeah, I'm yeah, in practice is bullshit. But, you know, <laughs> still got to do the fingerprinting, still got to stand there for the mugshot, you know. But they all knew, but it's all political. Yeah. 
If anything, I'm the most straight guy you could meet. So then they get us on a indictment, grand jury indictment. Perfect title company executives, Donald Lewis and David Keanu Sai, and two other people indicted on theft charges this week can expect to be arrested within days if they don't turn themselves in, the Attorney General's office said today. So they couldn't get us on racketeering, theft, and uh, tax evasion. Well, they actually got us on theft, but they said attempted theft. We attempted to steal land. Okay, let me give you guys a secret. <laughs> There's two types of properties. Real property, personal property. Real property is immovable, called real estate. That's real property. This pillar right here is real property. Personal property, movable, anything detached from the land. You can steal or attempt to steal personal property. You cannot steal land, it doesn't move. They claim that we came under the Class B felony definition of over a $10,000 value. They're saying the house was $200,000 that we did a title report on, which was the subject of the theft. Huh? Where you get that one from? Attempted theft of land. Okay, okay, maybe you found dirt in my pockets. I attempted to steal land. Did you know that how you also, on real estate, did you know if you pick a mango from somebody's yard, that's not theft? And you run away with it? Somehow you made it personal, right? You broke it off. Actually, what has to happen is you got to take it off, put it on the ground, leave it there for a day, come back, not at theft. If you grab the mango and you run, that's called criminal trespass. No, that's, that's how it works. So according to the criminal law, it says the subject of theft is personal property. Interest in real property, immovable, is not included, nor objects attached to the soil, such as trees and crops. And the model penal code of the American Law Institute says a theft prosecution can be possible where the criminal actor having power as a trustee, attorney, or otherwise to dispose of another's real estate does so to his own benefit in violation of his trust, meaning I sold the property, but I collected cash for it. That's theft, not the selling of the property. So that's, that's what we're going to play. Okay, so now I'm in trial, and I'm sitting there. And some sovereignty activists come up to me, hey, Keanu, are we support you? No, but stay away. <laughs> stay away. If I'm, I'm just sticking to the law. I don't need you over there coming out and making like you somebody. So nobody showed up in my room at the, 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 the trial except for my dad. And my dad, well, he was taking it hard. As they're going through, he's sitting in the car. <coughs> Bullshit. 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 <laughs> the judge got to go, uh, excuse me, <laughs> uh, Mr. Sai, please be quiet or you'll be removed from this, uh, this, this, this uh, court. So I'm going through this whole thing. I'm thinking, you know, this is a kangaroo court. Number one, the court is illegal. And then they just manufactured the charge against me on attempted theft of land. How do you even argue against that? When Bruce Graham said he cannot refute the title reports, you just sit there like, but then the reality is okay, I might go jail. Oh yeah, well, I'm gonna go call my friend. Daryl Wayne, prison guard, hello, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Brother might be coming, take care of me out. <laughs> <laughs> He's another coming back, right? <laughs> but this is my reality, this is the walk I gotta walk. Yeah? Nobody else. This is me. So Donald got acquitted. I got convicted along with our clients. And it says here, the verdict culminates the state's investigation into the now defunct company, which stirred widespread anxiety in real estate industry when it challenged property titles based on the laws of the Hawaiian Kingdom before the 1893 overthrow of Queen Lily Again, that makes perfect sense, except for the fact of conviction by a court that doesn't exist on a fabricated uh, charge that never existed either. And what they're trying to do is intimidate. Yeah, that was the purpose, intimidate. But see, I don't get intimidated easy. You know, to me, I take that as reframe it. Because the more you attack, that means the more you th I'm a threat. You don't attack something, yeah, that's frivolous. You attack something that you're scared of. And that's what it showed me. So it showed me they respected what I do. To the point where they wanted to take me down. 
So that kind of gets you, oh yeah, let's see, we got to make sure we stay up. So basically what came out of that was, according to uh, Title 18, United States Federal Code, that also applies outside of uh, U.S. territory where territory is occupied, it defines a war crime as willfully depriving a protected person the rights of a fair and regular trial. That's definitely what happened to me. And you know all the records, all the pleadings? You know all of that is now evidence of unfair trial. You see the arrogance? That's like Lili Okalani and uh, Sanford Do cross out the name, not even use it against that guy. Now I'm using everything in this court. Who's the deputy prosecutor? Who's this guy, Dwight Nottamore, deputy attorney general? Who's the judge, Sandra Sims? Who's involved? You know, I got a all in record now. So now I can go after him later, but my job is to make sure we end the problem. But you gotta stay focused. So if you're looking at anybody who should be angry, you're looking at them, but I'm not angry. Because you gotta be focused to fix the problem. Yeah, this is just a microcosm of the problem. And also, responsibility of an individual for infractions of international law is not open to question. In dealing with property located outside his own state, he must be expected to ascertain and keep within the applicable law. Ignorance thereof will not excuse guilt, but may mitigate punishment. That's from the report of war criminals. Tribunal. That's why I'm saying people watch what you do. Don't get caught up in the gang mentality. Because it's going to end and it's going to be filmed. <laughs> There's going to be documents. The best thing is make like you never know. Yeah. Get more information. Get more education. So this guy is a famous uh, publisher. Uh, actually a novelist. British. That's a good quote. When a well-packaged web of lies has been sold gradually to the masses over generations, the truth will seem utterly preposterous and its speaker a raving lunatic. <laughs> Welcome to lunacy. Because <laughs> everybody's starting to learn it. Yeah? And that's, that's what's going on. So, so there are people who are moving on these issues in a very, very responsible way whether through education, whether through business, whether through the courts, whether as an attorney, all these things come into play. Okay? And the perfect title, that whole thing, never change. Same information. Now it's called La Lima Title Searching Claims. Same thing, you know, but now we get something different. I get on PhD, I'm the consultant, we got senior law professor, law school, we got attorneys, you know. But the key is how do you fix the problem? How do you fix this problem? That's the key. Any questions so far before we move on to the next one? What is the standing of Kamehameha Schools land? Whatever was held in 1893 is still there. Nothing could be transferred after 1893. Because yeah. you got to follow the law. Obviously nobody followed the law. But you also have to take it into consideration <coughs> that the laws were not followed. But how do you now make something legal when it came out of something of a legal process that the person believed. You see what I'm saying? And there's a way to fix that. So as long as the acquisition or the acquiring of title did not derive from a rebellion yeah. or collaborating against the Hawaiian Kingdom and law, then I would say the title can be recognized as being valid. Yeah. All you gotta do is fix the notary. Fix the notary and fix the registrar. But that's a legal issue, that's not me personally. And there's examples in the world that show how to fix that. Actually, when I did my doctoral dissertation, first thing my committee members wanted to know is how do you fix the problem? And there's a way to fix it. Yeah. So, again, Google Dr. Keanu Sai, and then go to my, um, my UH website, hawaii.edu, go to publication, download my dissertation, read chapter five. <laughs> Actually, read the whole thing. Yeah, read the whole thing. But the plan is there, and things are moving to implement that plan. Absolutely. It takes time, though. You know, it's almost like you, you're on a ship, and it's going. Yeah, you kind of just, you know what happens when you go, everybody falls over. Yeah, you got to slowly turn it. Yeah, that's the key. Because what I don't want to do is to disrupt our economy, even though it's all blow up, blown up already. How do we fix that? I mean, to go open up on them. Yeah, I'm not into whole puni puni. <laughs> Any other questions so far?
actually the title companies, the title insurance companies, uh, well, actually the banks do not want to follow the title insurance claim. Because if the bank follows a title insurance claim, they're admitting all their mortgages are invalid. But that's not your problem, that's their problem. So now they're attacking people and they're going to be held accountable. And they've been doing that for a while. That's why education is key, even for the criminals. So you don't continue to keep committing the same crime over and over. Because then you can't claim ignorance. Now it's intent. And now you got victims. And a perfect victim, you're looking at them. That's what I read. Yeah, you resigned. Yeah. I have no idea. That's an American problem. <laughs>